Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. If you're brand new and if you're regular, welcome back. So in today's feature, what we're going to be doing is talking about the brand new Moleskin Actions application. This is the second uh, digital application that Moleskin have launched in this sort of mini studio or suite of applications. And in today's video, I wanna give you a full guide to the new resource and give you some idea of the pricing and information like that. So guys, just before we jump in, we're gonna do YouTube question of the day. So we're gonna answer a question from your comments so far. Um, but if you want to skip this one, you can skip in the intro to the timestamp above uh, and jump straight into the Moleskine Actions feature. So the YouTube question of the day today, um, this is from the Wunderlist video I did last week. Um, it's from Rahul KM. He asks, I am going to use Wunderlist till it dies. I dabbled with Todoist for a while, but do you think the paid version is good enough for a power user who doesn't collaborate with other users? Now that's an awesome question, Rahul. Um, of course, um, naturally when you are moving from something like Wunderlist that is going to be shutting down eventually, you want to move to something that is pretty consistent. Now, just to give you an idea, when you move over to Todoist, there is a Wunderlist transfer feature, which will bring all of your other data. I'll include that in the description below. Um, but I do think Todoist is a good enough um, experience for you. Um, I think that Wunderlist uh, Premium or Wunderlist uh, General tended to be almost very similar in functionality to do is free. The things that you might uh, miss are the comments uh, functionality um, and you know more of the sort of uh, expansion stuff inside of uh, to do is like labels and filters. Um, but that's something I don't think you could miss necessarily. I think as a power user itself, if you're looking to go sort of streamline, I think Todoist is a good option for that. Remember that Todoist always seems to run discounts or uh, three month free codes. So do keep an eye out for that. I'll try and include some of the links in the description to that. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's dive into Moleskin Actions. So Moleskin Actions is Moleskin's brand new application for basically task management. Now the application itself tries to bring in the likes of time page with actions to give you like a calendar plus task experience in two separate applications. Now, just to be clear, the application is a paid application. So you need a membership to actually you go ahead and use the resource. Um, but there is a, I believe it's a seven day free trial, which give you should give you plenty of time to check out the resource. Now, when it comes to design, the application really does mimic the likes of Things 3 on iOS. It looks great, but it's sort of like Things 3 meets Gano, which is is another sort of task planner application and it's sort of like design embedding actions and the ability to add lists and create new lists. Now the simple concept behind Moleskine Actions is the ability to create a schedule of your tasks. Now you have this schedule view, it's basically a week ahead view. You can scroll through and it almost comes alive like you have an Vantage calendar. You can scroll through and actually visualize what tasks you have on next. It also brings in calendar events so that you don't necessarily miss any of them out. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and create an action, all you have to do is either tap on the plus button in the top right hand corner or actually go onto a date and tap it. Now from here you can add a task and it's quite interesting because once you add the task, you can assign it to a list. Lists are essentially projects and you can go into the bottom right hand corner, click into this sort of like panel view and you can see all of the lists that you've created. Now from here, you can create a list. It's pretty easy to do so, and it looks great. You can also assign a color to it, and in traditional Moleskine Studio fashion, the way they've designed the app is very interactive. So you can go and pick the color that you like out of it, and it looks great. So once you've created a list, you can go back into an action on the schedule view and actually assign it to a list if you haven't done so yet. When that is done, it actually pops up in your view or your schedule view in the same color that it is associated list, giving you a great visual correlation between your tasks. 
So gestures come into play when you're in schedule view. From here, what you can do is swipe left in order to reschedule an item for another day. And it brings up a pre-created menu for that. Or you can swipe right and actually get the item completed on that list. Once that item is completed, it will disappear. Now you're probably wondering where does that item go if you want to see your completed items and that goes inside of the logbook which is available on the bottom tab by clicking or swiping to the right and you can see all of the completed tasks that you have. Now in terms of the gestures as well, in case you have an item that you want to move to the next day and you don't necessarily want to go in and fiddle with the date setting, you can simply drag it down your uh, sort of area and basically from here you can move the location of the date. Now let's say I'm creating a specific task and I want to maybe potentially make a calendar event out of it and not a task. Maybe you've had that thought when you're doing it. Let's say you're creating it, you press this button in the middle, which is almost like a time page switch application, which brings you over to the time page application. And using the deep linking ability that created, you are able to actively create a calendar event in time page while staying in Moleskine Actions, which is pretty impressive. Now, I wasn't actually sure whether this worked initially, but when I tried it, I was like, wow, this is great. It looks perfect. Now, the really neat thing is when you're in list view as well, you can start adding basic actions to the lists without necessarily giving them dates and abilities. You can even move a specific task over to another list inside of this view in a beautifully created gesture view. Now you're probably wondering what happens if I click on an event inside of the actions application? What happens? Now automatically the application brings you over to the time page allowing you to see the full details of the event. Now I notice it's slightly slower on older devices like iPhone 6 Pluses etc like mine uh, but after a while I think it got very intuitive to use. Now you're probably wondering in terms of task context what can I add to a task? Now it's really simple in the schedule view you can assign to any different day. You can even assign it to something called later which will appear inside of future dates past a week and even create tasks that repeat themselves as well if they are routine, routine items. Now skipping over to settings, in the preferences you can make a few modifications. In the general view you can activate dark mode and modify some of the gesture settings. And inside the settings you can modify some of the logbook actions, also the expiry of the logbook as well. And inside of the preferences too, there's also the ability to check, change the text size and also modify some of the sound options. Now what's really cool is Actions works with Siri as well. So if you want to activate, for example, say, add this to my different list uh, in Actions, it will do so. Now you're probably wondering, this sounds fantastic, Francesco. This application looks great. How much is it worth? Well, the application is pretty reasonably priced. For unlimited actions, cloud storage, and also the sync between devices, which I assume is iOS devices, it is per month £1.79, which I will convert to dollars in the description below. Now yearly this works out in the UK as £10.48, which is pretty reasonable. It's about the price of Bear Pro for a year. Now, as I was said, I'll include the one month and 12 month pricing information for the US in the description so you can go and find out what it is for your country. Now I'm not entirely sure whether if you've already bought Time Page and have a membership, it will give you sign in access to this one. I'm yet to check. I just signed into my account and checked and for some reason it actually just popped up saying that I don't have a membership to this. So I'm assuming the actions experience is different to Time Page. Now guys, as I was mentioning, Time Page gives you about a seven day uh, buffer with the application. I believe that's the free trial. I'll include all of the information to do with that pricing and set up in the description below so you guys can go away with it. But at the moment, my verdict is that I'm pretty impressed by Moleskine Actions. I think that the Moleskine team are realizing that they can't make all of their bets on notebooks and naturally they're developing a suite of applications to help fix most of the sections. Now I wouldn't be surprised if Moleskin came out with a full notebook experience um, that they actually pre-create from the beginning uh, in a more traditional fashion that correlates directly to time page and actions as a way to bring them all into the system and have everything there. And I think they've done a great job at building it, especially with the gestures and the preferences. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoy this Moleskine Actions feature. Let me know in the comments what you think 
of moleskin actions. It'd be great to hear. Uh, thank you everyone for nudging me a lot on this one. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of the time uh, I try to catch up with the latest applications and sometimes I miss them, but you guys nudge me anyway when you see something and I'm normally fairly, cool. yeah, I normally catch up. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.